Welcome to Toyama. This is Fuganunga Kansui Park, and that behind me is no ordinary Starbucks. That's what many consider to be the world's most beautiful Starbucks. And it's easy to see why. Just look at that building, or cafe. It's all high glass windows overlooking a lake and a park. It's also one of Japan's most natural prefectures along the Sea of Japan, Toyama. Kansui Park is just a 10 minute walk from the train station. The cafe is sort of the only building in the park. It's a community area where locals come to enjoy nature in the city. It's got beautiful golf course like grass that slopes towards the lake, perfect for picnicking. And that deck? Or is it a balcony? It's the perfect place to sit and take it all in. Or go inside. With those windows, you won't miss the view. Bring your dog. This is 13-year-old Hana-chan, and she's making a day of it on the deck. This is a popular photo and selfie spot. You want to get in your drink with the building in the background. It's also popular with coffee drinkers, like me. When you don't have your own deck, you can borrow this one. It's the view and fresh air that also makes this place beautiful. The early evening sky draped behind the Japanese Alps turns purple to night. At night, it's the brightest place in the park. Well, except for that bridge. What makes this place the most beautiful Starbucks is more than just the building itself. It's where it is, what surrounds it, and the limitless freedom of its design. To me, it seems like more than just a chain coffee shop. But yeah, there are others like this one in Hakodate Hokkaido. Right on the waterfront, this spacious building fits into its surroundings. Fireplace, it gets cold here. Wide wooden stairs. Natural hardwood floors. A deck overlooking Hakodate Bay to the mountains on the other side. An inviting Hokkaido warehouse that many call the coziest Starbucks in the world. In Tokyo, Shibuya's Hachiko Scramble is home to one of the busiest locations anywhere. Across from Shibuya Station, this one has the best view of the world's most famous pedestrian crossing. I love Amote Sando's Tokyo Plaza Starbucks. It's a secret place on the top floor that has lounge chairs and a city view. You'll find shops all over the place. Starbucks in Japan has been here as long as me, give or take a year. The first shop opened in Ginza in 1996. One of my favorite places in Tokyo is Ueno. And the park. And yeah, there's one there too. And I love it. It's quite busy. No secret like the one in Omote Sando, but still, surrounded by trees and people. It's a mini escape from the traffic just a hundred meters away. Toyama has some competition for the most beautiful Starbucks. In June 2017, a store opened in the heart of Kyoto's historic Higashiyama district, just a short walk from Kiyomizudera Temple. It fits right in. Hard to tell that it's a Starbucks at all, until you see that sign. I was one of the first 50 people on opening day for a quick look around the Ninenzaka store. From the beautiful wooden counters to the shoji paper lined corridors, it's all Japanese style. And full of surprises. 
Wait, so you're, you're from Seattle, you said? Mm -hmm. That's where Starbucks is from. Yeah. And this is more beautiful than any Starbucks that you've seen where Starbucks was born. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Tatami areas require you to take off your shoes. Sit on mats on the floor, relax, and sip your matcha, latte, or coffee. That's what I like. It's a traditional place open to all, beautiful and casual. Japan is loaded with coffee shops, and it's nice to visit them all, but there's something special about this. The architecture, the design, the decor, the colors. Love it or hate it, it intrigues almost everyone to step in. Which is why I can say that I believe the most beautiful Starbucks in the world is right here in Japan. But what an experience that was. That might be one of the most beautiful Starbucks in the world. So whether you're going to the one in Toyama, to the one in Tokyo, to the one here in Kyoto, Starbucks here in Japan, I had to admit it, it's pretty cool. The healthiest snack in the world, edamame, is more popular than ever, and that made me wonder where it came from. Next time, we'll take a trip to an edamame farm, harvest and eat some of Japan's best, what makes good edamame? We're about to find out.